Hi guys! In this video we're going to look at occlusion culling in Unity and how it can improve the performance of your game. To show how it works we've created a simple scene with rows of blocks to resemble a city. We'll open the stats dialog and then press play. In here we can see how many triangles are being rendered. More triangles mean more load on the graphics processor and possibly lower frame rates. So we want to keep an eye on this and not render any more triangles than necessary. One thing that Unity does by default to help with this is something called frustum culling. This prevents game objects being rendered that are outside the camera's visible area. We can see this area, or frustum, by switching to the scene view and selecting the camera in the hierarchy. Any objects outside this area won't be rendered. We can see this by switching back to the game view and rotating the camera. As the city goes out of view, we can see that the number of triangles decreases. This is the frustum culling at work. This helps, but what it won't do is take into account objects that are hidden behind other objects. For example, let's position the camera in front of one of the buildings. We can see that there are still lots of triangles being rendered. Unity is still rendering everything hidden behind the building. This is where occlusion culling comes in. Unity can calculate which objects are hidden by others and then only render what needs to be displayed. To do this we need to bake some occlusion data. Let's stop the game and have a look at how to set this up. First of all we need to make sure all the buildings are marked as static. We'll select them all in the hierarchy. Then we'll click the static checkbox. If we click the arrow next to the checkbox we can see that occlude a static and occlude e static are both ticked. Occlude a static means that the object can hide other objects. Occlude e static means that the object can be hidden by other objects. Next we'll go to Window, Rendering, Occlusion Culling. We'll go to the Bake tab. We'll leave the settings at their default values and click Bake. Unity now splits the scene into regions that it can cull efficiently. We can test out the occlusion culling by going to the Visualization tab. We can see a huge portion of the city has disappeared. This is showing which objects will be rendered with occlusion culling enabled. Let's rotate the camera and see how it changes. Buildings disappear and reappear as Unity recalculates which objects are hidden behind others. Let's press play to see how this has affected our triangle count. We can see that the scene looks the same, but the number of triangles is much lower than before. This is because Unity is no longer rendering all those hidden objects. So occlusion culling can really help improve the performance of your game, especially if your scenes have lots of hidden objects like buildings in a city or rooms inside a house. Ok that covers everything for this video, let us know in the comments if you found it useful. A big thank you to all our patrons, we really appreciate you helping to support the channel. If you'd like to help and also get access to the source code, you can find details in the description. Thanks guys!